Thought Catalog Books presents The Mountain is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery. Written by Brianna Wiest. Read for you by Stacy Glomboski. Introduction Much like nature, life is very often working in our favor, even when it seems like we are only being faced with adversity, discomfort, and change. As forest fires are essential to the ecology of the environment, opening new seeds that require heat to sprout and rebuild a population of trees, our minds also go through periodic episodes of positive disintegration or a cleansing through which we release and renew our self-concept. We know that nature is most fertile and expansive at its perimeters where climates meet, and we also transform when we reach our edge states, the points at which we are forced to step out of our comfort zones and regroup. When we can no longer rely on our coping mechanisms to help distract us from the problems in our lives, it can feel as though we've hit rock bottom. The reality is that this sort of awakening is what happens when we finally come to terms with the problems that have existed for a long time. The breakdown is often just the tipping point that precedes the breakthrough, the moment a star implodes before it becomes a supernova. Just as a mountain is formed when two sections of the ground are forced against one another, your mountain will arise out of coexisting but conflicting needs. Your mountain requires you to reconcile two parts of you, the conscious and the unconscious, the part of you that is aware of what you want and the part of you that is not aware of why you are still holding yourself back. Historically, mountains have been used as metaphors for spiritual awakenings, journeys of personal growth, and, of course, insurmountable challenges that seem impossible to overcome when we are standing at the bottom. Like so much of nature, mountains provide us with an inherent wisdom about what it will take to rise up to our highest potential. The objective of being human is to grow. We see this reflected back to us in every part of life. Species reproduce. DNA evolves to eliminate certain strands and develop new ones. And the edges of the universe are expanding forever outward. Likewise, our ability to feel the depth and beauty of life is capable of expanding forever inward if we are willing to take our problems and see them as catalysts. Forests need fire to do this. Volcanoes need implosions. Stars need collapse. And human beings often need to be faced with no other option but to change before they really do. To have a mountain in front of you does not mean you are fundamentally broken in some way. Everything in nature is imperfect, and it is because of that imperfection that growth is possible. If everything existed in uniformity, the gravity that created the stars and planets and everything that we know would not exist. Without breaks, faults, and gaps, nothing could grow, and nothing would become. The fact that you are imperfect is not a sign that you have failed. It is a sign that you are human. And more importantly, it is a sign that you still have more potential within you. Maybe you know what your mountain is. Maybe it's addiction, weight, relationships, jobs, motivation, or money. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's a vague sense of anxiety, low self-esteem, fear or a general discontentment that seems to bleed out onto everything else. The mountain is often less a challenge in front of us as it is a problem within us, an unstable foundation that might not seem evident on the surface, but is nonetheless shifting almost every part of our lives. Usually when we have a problem that is circumstantial, we are facing the reality of life. When we have a problem that is chronic, we are facing the reality of ourselves. We often think that to face a mountain means to face life's hardships. But the truth is that it is almost always because of the years we have spent accumulating tiny traumas at... Hello. Today, 
I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. You will be redirected to an audiobook website where you can read the book's summary and listen to a free sample. He could read it in his own good time as many times as he wanted, and this would help him to absorb the message. To get the complete audiobook, click on Start for Free. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog, audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log into your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the Library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click Listen Now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app, which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Cancelling button. In this step, 
Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is cancelled, and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after cancelling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free any time and as many times as you want in your Audible account.